this is again a important topic and a topic which usually you know you people get fear of the rop so according to the guidelines from the cryo rop study cryotherapy or the laser therapy should be initiated in the patients which in which of the following stages of the rop your options are five contiguous clock hours five contiguous stage 3 plus then second is eight cumulative clock hours stage 2 plus five contiguous hours of stage 1 or eight cumulative stage 1 so very you know cleverly we have placed the options this may we have just five and eight because we know that you always remember that it is five and eight so let me see how many of you can give the answer so let me see how many of you can find out the answer in this <clears throat> i hope you are people are enjoying hai na quiz lag raha hai so <laughs> okay this is the you know a very different compliment that i have got today i don't i i actually do not know this actress also <laughs> okay so what is this five contiguous clock hours of stage 3 plus eight cumulative clock hours of stage 2 plus five contiguous clock hours of stage 1 ya fir eight cumulative clock hours of stage 1 you are enjoying hmm yes so let us see first of all some facts about rop that are very very important what are the high risk factors whenever we are talking about the rop you have to remember that certain things are very very important whenever i am talking about the gestational age less than 34 weeks or sometimes they write 32 weeks or even 30 weeks theek hai na 30 weeks period of gestation so baby is immature it could be less than 34 weeks 32 weeks 30 weeks and less than 1.5 ya fir specifically india mein jo hum use kar rahe hain 1.7 kg's birth weight now if this kind of a baby is exposed to the high concentration of the oxygen so usually uh, this can take place in the uh, incubators at the pediatrician site i hope nobody is giving nowadays everybody knows so if this immature baby is getting this high concentration of oxygen then we will have the retro lentil fibroplasia then we have high degree of fibrovascular proliferation where retro lentil means behind the lens so it is taking place behind the lens therefore it is called as retro lentil fibroplasia and uh, that is the reason why it leads to leukocoria so one of the important things is that it is also coming under the dds of leukocoria then these criteria you should know high concentration of oxygen also you should know theek hai now should i treat this yes you have to look at the stages first which are your five stages what are your five stages let us revise stage 1 may we have just the demarcation line we have a demarcation line now why i am getting this demarcation line this is between the healthy and unhealthy matlab avascular and vascular retina ke beech mein i am getting a demarcation line number 2 may this is getting elevated to form a ridge number 3 may over the ridge you are getting fibrovascular proliferation so i will write ridge with the fibrovascular proliferation theek hai then we have stage 4 and stage 5 where i will have sub total rd and finally i will have total rd now one question for you what is the kind of rd that i get here let me see yes 
can you explain the stages also see i am explaining it myself only so we are having a demarcation line this is uh, between the vascular and a vascular retina vascular and a vascular retina ridge is a elevated line then we have ridge with fibrovascular proliferation and this is actually leading to the retinal detachment i think ishara samajh gaye hoge what is a kind of rd hai na main bhool gayi thi ki maine question pucha hai so what is a kind of rd that you are going to have yes it is the tractional retinal detachment so kind of rd you have also understood theek hai na then we have got certain zones here so let us try to see what are the zones suppose uh, this is the eyeball here this is the eyeball and uh, this is the on the nasal side we will have this optic nerve so if this is the optic nerve and here is your fovea so you have to take the double the distance i am taking the smaller distance so that we can draw double theek hai so suppose this is your x so with 2x diameter you have to draw another circle taking this optic nerve as a center like this so this is your zone 1 zone 1 is the radius the zone 1 is twice into the distance between between the optic disc and the fovea centralis and you draw concentrically this is zone 1 now taking the zone 2 zone 2 kya hai you are starting it from the outer outer edge of this zone 1 and going up to the nasal ora serrata like this no it has not gone up to the nasal ora serrata na i will have to draw it manually so this has to go up to the nasal ora serrata this this is your nasal ora serrata i hope you people know what is ora serrata ora means origin serrata is uneven so uneven margin from where the retina starts so it is starting from this outer edge and it is going towards the nasal side this is your zone 2 and then you are left with a small zone 3 a very very small zone 3 this one this is the temporal crescentic edge that you are getting a very very thin crescentic edge that you are getting on the temporal side this one this is your zone 3 something like this and uh, it's going like this like this so this will be your zone 3 so now the zones are clear theek hai now zones ka ha three easy hai uske baad the third thing is their extent extent we can give in the claw cars for extent we are using the claw cars claw cars ka matlab kya hai now once you do all this na then the answer become very easy so you have to take the claw car something like this so start from the 12 o'clock 3 o'clock 6 o'clock and your 9 o'clock so this is your 1 this is 2 3 ठीक है देन वी हैव फोर वी हैव फाइव दिस इज सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व दीज आर योर क्लॉक आर्स ये है वो या तो फाइव वी शुड हैव द कॉन्टेग्यूस और वी कैन हैव द एट नॉन कॉन्टेग्यूस समथिंग लाइक दिस so these are your clock cars now you will have to see that which of these should be treated so these are called as threshold and the pre threshold matlab threshold means which are most severe cases 
so there is one more thing here which is called as the plus disease plus disease ka mnemonic hai tortuous arteries engorged veins tortuous arteries engorged veins matlab if you are also having the tortuous arteries and engorgement in the veins engorged veins along with this then i will say that it's a very very severe disease so i will combine the most severe stages with the most severe um, zones along with the most of the extent clockers along with the plus disease then that is your threshold and pre threshold jisko i will have to treat now what are these actually threshold and pre threshold look at this so what is threshold when you look at your threshold disease you have to take either the five contiguous or eight cumulative which are non contiguous so either five should be contiguous clock hours or eight should be non contiguous and then you have to take a severe stage in the stage 3 you are taking in stage 3 zone are the severe which are nearer to the center so zone 1 hai ya fir zone 2 hai along with this we have also the plus disease so i can write five contiguous eight non contiguous with the stage 3 zone 1 or 2 and plus disease this is your threshold theek hai isko hum short mein se likh sakte hain while the other one is your pre threshold pre threshold ka i always tell you one mnemonic 1 plus 1 2 plus This is the mnemonic one plus one and two plus one plus kya hai one plus this is zone one and plus disease. This is your one plus. Then we have zone one again, and then we have zone two. Fir plus disease. So this is your one plus one is equal to two plus. You can remember this because वैसे it's difficult to learn. You can easily remember कि ये one क्या है zone one. plus disease then we again have zone 1 and this is your zone 2 and plus disease so this is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 plus so you can easily remember which are the cases that you can learn how to remember which stage needs the laser photocoagulation yes so this i am telling you easily ya to five contiguous areas hain or we have got the eight non contiguous areas but it should be in severe stage 3 and closer zones matlab 1 and 2 along with this we also have the plus disease or pre threshold ka just remember 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 plus so that is the most easiest way i think to learn that which of the cases require the treatment which of the treatment is required hai na yes so now the answer is very very clear तो मैंने यही बोला था कि वंस यू हैव डन विद दिस नाउ यू विल नॉट टेक मच ऑफ द टाइम टू गिव द आंसर सो गिव द आंसर नाउ सो आवर आंसर विल बी अ ऑप्शन ए फाइव कंटिन्यूअस क्लॉक आर स्टेज थ्री एंड प्लस सो इज दैट क्लियर टू एवरीवन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द स्टेजेस जोन्स एक्सटेंट एंड आल्सो द प्लस डिजीज एंड यू आर आल्सो नोइंग अबाउट द थ्रेशोल्ड एंड द प्री थ्रेशोल्ड गाइडलाइंस ऑफ द स्क्रीनिंग के लिए यू हैव टू सी दैट व्हाट इज द जेस्टेशनल एज ऑफ द बेबी less than 28 weeks or more than 28 weeks theek okay? hai now if the baby is more than 28 weeks again you have to divide whether the weight is less than 1.7 kg or more than 1.7 kg so in this way i have got three things this one this one and this one so i have to do within 2 weeks of the birth i have to do the screening within 3 weeks and within 4 weeks very easily you can remember 2 to 4 weeks ke beech mein we have to do the screening of all the babies because mostly uh, this rop is taking place between 32 to 36 weeks period of gestation now you are you will say that the baby is taking birth less than 28 weeks then how i am saying that uh, baby's age is 32 to 36 weeks this i am talking about the chronological age this is the chronological age of the baby so when baby is reaching this age 
फ्रॉम द टाइम ऑफ बर्थ देन इट इज मोस्टली हैविंग सो इसीलिए विद इन टू वीक्स ऑफ बर्थ विद इन थ्री वीक्स ऑफ बर्थ विद इन फोर वीक्स ऑफ बर्थ और इफ दे आर आस्किंग यू इन द क्रोनोलॉजिकल एज यू हैव टू गो बिटवीन थर्टी टू टू थर्टी सिक्स वीक्स 